Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much guys. Uh, patuloy po ninyong pag-support. Thank you to all my subscribers, my regular viewers, my silent viewers, my uh, mga suki ko at mga friendship sa YT. Maraming maraming salamat po sa patuloy po ninyong pag-support sa aking channel. Thank you, thank you very much guys. So in this video guys, I will show you Papakita ko po kung gaano kahirap at napaka gaano po ang gastos kapag nag, every time na nagpapagawa po kami ng uh, building or any kind of construction sa mountains po. So, people here hauled materials by their motorcycles guys and the bag of sand cost us 35 pesos to haul from the bottom of the hill up to here ayan guys yung isang sako ng sand or gravel or cement 35 pesos po yan guys kada sako tapos yung blocks naman guys ay 12 pesos and now guys the the motorcycles are coming look at the first the first guy hauled three bags in his motorcycle and the other guy is hauling hollow blocks i think he's able to carry eight eight pieces of those blocks so each uh, piece of blocks guys is 12 pesos so napaka kumakain po talaga guys ng ano ng pera as in kumakain kasi la, yung howling fee mo napaka taas dito sa amin kaya pero wala tayong choice guys talagang gagawin natin kasi kinakailangan Na-require tayo ng, ano, ng government na uh, magawa ng septic tank. So, ayan guys. Mag-unload mag na sila at babalik ulit sila doon sa baba. So, actually guys, ayan ay hapon na mga 5pm yata. So, ayan guys, check natin kung ano nang ginagawa nila. Actually, nakapag uh, uh, hukay na po sila yesterday. Uh, actually, 3 days, 2 days silang naghukay guys. Kasi it's not very easy guys. There are lots of rocks. And they are like digging almost 8 feet, 9 feet deep. So, it takes so much uh, time guys and so much strength and effort so ayan so 3 lang sila guys pero ano yan sila uh, magagaling at masisipag sila guys hindi sila yung ano hindi sila yung trabahanti na nagbibilang ng oras guys yung bang ano alam nyo yung guys may mga kabahanti na pag wala yung amo wala din silang ginagawa ayan sumilip yung aming bossing <laughs> Im, ano dala dala yung kanyang beer ha po na yata yan guys kaya ano so kung makipapansin nyo guys uh, lahat, lahat ng aming ginagawa dito sa construction talagang nakasunod yan guys sa kung anong tamang proseso kasi lalo na po dun sa mixing ng, ng buhangin at saka semento guys kasi pag ginawa mong matabang yung mixing kapag hindi mo sinunod yung tamang formula madali lang masira guys yung ano mo yung, yung concrete mo lalo na sa babuyan guys namin talagang sinusunod namin minsan sobra sobra pa nga guys yung ano yung semento kasi yung baboy kapag ginangat-ngat nila yan magre-repair ka na naman uli guys so di bali nang para sa akin gumastos ng medyo extra konti uh, kaysa 
masisira at magre-repair ka guys doble cost yun guys kasi pag nagre-repair ka hindi mo naman basa-basa na re-repair lang yung isang malit na butas na yun eh babaklasin mo yun guys medyo lalakihan mo para makakapag-repair ka lang so kaya talaga walang ano yung sa construction namin lahat na ginagawa dito ako lang yung engineer guys kasi <laughs> ako yung nag uh, ano sa kanila nagdidikta kung ano yung ano yung dapat gawin kailangan na kasunod talaga sa tamang ano wag 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 titipid-tipid rin lalo dun sa pagdating dong sa semento guys at sa mga mga yung mga bakal na yan guys sabi ko sundin talaga yung kung ano dapat kung ano yung size ng bakal na kailangan so ayan guys tapos na silang magpile ng blocks mga blocks pinapakuha ko sa kanya yung mga nahuhulog na mga semento guys para hindi titigas yung flooring para nadidrain lang yung tubig guys mula dun sa tayo at saka pag nabubulok sila guys pag hindi kasi nadidrain yung water sa ilali mabilis mapuno yung septic tank kaya yung lalo na pag pupo ng baboy guys kasi may mga ipa minsan siguro ano dadakotin na lang namin yung ipa para hindi talaga napupunta dyan lahat sa septic tank ayan pinapaano ko sa kanya guys yung mga pag nung nagpapile sila may mga nalalaglag dyan guys na mga semento mix na sand at saka cement ayan pinapakwa ko sa kanya yan lahat para talagang ano walang nakabara dun sa lupa at madidrain talaga yung tubig ayan tapos may mga malalaking bato na dyan guys hindi na namin kayang ano buhatin kaya sabi ko sa kanila hayaan na lang dyan tapos yung ilalim yan guys medyo bato bato rin kaya ano so yan pinapatusok tusok ko sa kanya para talagang ano ayan kasi hindi na sila babalik yan guys ayan tapos na siya gagawa na sila ng cover guys they will start making cover and platform for the cover for the septic tank but they will make a manhole guys para yung manhole kapag kung sakasakaling nabulok na yung tai dyan pwede nang kuhanin at maging fertilizer so ayan so, ayan yung mga leftover materials na lang yan guys ng mga tira-tira namin sa aming uh, uh, vacation house vac uh, sa uh, renovation namin sa bahay yung pagawa ng big pen expansion ayan, kung kita nyo guys yung mga tira-tirang plywoods mapapakinabangan pa rin naman basta mayroon lang mga lumber dun sa ilalim mo, okay na yan ang hirap maging construction guys, ano Uh, pinagmamasan ko lahat ng gawain nila guys nahawa ako sa mga pamangkin ko na to lalo dun sa kapatid ko kasi pero paano gagawin natin guys hindi sila nakapagtapos parang ako din hindi rin naman ako nakapagtapos pero depende sa diskarte kasi guys kasi kung ang nandun ako sa Maynila guys at kung wala rin akong diskarte sa buhay naku, hindi ako makakaipon guys hindi ako makakapag-ipon at wala akong farm ngayon talagang sinikap ko lang po talaga guys na makapag-ipon, makapag-umpisa ng malit na farm at awa ng Diyos na papalaki ko naman lalo na may support na ako ngayon sa aking napaka very understanding na partner kinusuportahan niya guys sa mga luho ko pagdating sa negosyo kasi alam niya may kita naman talaga sa negosyo eh. kaya ayan kino yung uh, ano guys the profits I make from uh, selling piglets guys ayun yung uh, inispend ko sa expansion pa-expand ako ng tatlong ano guys tatlong pinto ulit and then uh, some, some of it went to the feeds at saka ito guys um, some of the materials also for the septic tank galing dun sa pinagbintahan ng piglets but uh, yung labor guys umutang na ako sa asawa ko guys I borrow from him $200 or $250 para sa labor so ayan guys malapit nang matapos yung cover it's almost done guys and this will be the end of uh, all the projects in the pig pen guys tapos na yung 
uh, expansion at ito na po yung pinakahuli septic tank guys although amin naman yung property dito guys pero nirequire pa rin talaga na gumawa ng septic kaya ayan para na rin tahimik yung pagninegosyo natin at siyempre para na rin malinis yung kapaligiran kasi maraming manok dito sa ano namin guys yung kapatid ko kaya minsan nagdadala din yun ng bakterya kaya ayan happy na ako guys na natapos itong septic tank na ito Hello, Rusty! <laughs> Ayan. The cover is almost done. Uh, bukas, guys, pag, ano, pag natuyo na yun, gagawa na lang nila ng ano. Ayan. Bilib ako sa mga worker na ito, guys. Hinayaan ko lang silang magtrabaho dyan. Hindi ko, hindi mo sila kailangang monitorin sa oras at makikita mo sila na andyan sila nagtratrabaho. Hindi kagaya ng iba na pag wala yung amo, pag wala yung may-ari, hindi na sila nagtratrabaho. Iba, guys, sabi ng iba, do not hire family members. Pero para sa akin, bakit ako lalayo? E yung family mo yung unang-una nangangailangan ng trabaho, ba diba? So, ayan. So, ayan. Tapos na, guys. Uh, tapos na rin kaming may project kaming ginawa dyan kaya ayan malinis na malinis na yung ano pali, paligid after they work on uh, septic tank guys they also clean the surroundings of the pen uh, tinabi namin guys tinabi nila guys dun sa gilid ng kulungan yung mga leftover na blocks na kabuhangin kasi may konti kaming natira ayan guys That is my resting place, guys. Every time I'm watching the piglets at daytime. So, dyan ako, guys. Ayan. So. Finish. I mean, ito yung aking natirang tatlong biik, guys napakaliliit na mga bi kasi pinagpilian na po sila but look at that look at them now guys they go very fast ang aking mama maha that is too much pregnant this one uh, 50 50 guys <laughs> i don't know if she's pregnant or not also this one And this is our lucky boar. Ayan, ang aking lucky boar. Hello, Jonah! Ayan, guys. Ito yung aking mama bia, the fourth. Siya po, and she's like uh, two months old pregnant as well. She will do on December. And this is my queen bia. Two months pregnant. And... This is our Beatrice in production. And guys, she has uh, 16 piglets. Look, guys. Yeah. Most of the piglets, guys, wanted to sleep by the mama because it's warm. But also, there are some piglets here. Three of them. Yes. And... Our Marimar, she will do on uh, October 24th, guys. So, I will, now we will see, guys, the finished product of uh, septic tank, guys. The leftover blocks is here, piled. So the leftover sand, the guys piled it in case we'll have uh, further projects in the future, guys. Okay. Ayan, guys. Ang aking napakalaking septic tank. This is seven and a half or eight and a half feet long and uh, five, almost six feet wide, guys. 
and 9 feet deep. That's the size of our uh, septic tank and it cost us $600 or more or less 31,000 pesos guys. Uh, so this is now the local pathway guys. This is where the farmers with their carabaos pass by in at the border of our property guys. So I put fence. Ayan guys. So that it will protect the infrastructure there. You know because sometimes a uh, guys doesn't care. People doesn't care. So that's that's the back of our pig pen guys. You see all the water lines, the PVC lines for the poop. And this is where the local people pass by guys on to the next property but that property is still belongs to us this property is belong to us also this is the border line and this is the back of the pig pen on the other side and guys so for this year we are very grateful and blessed that we are able to finish all projects from the pig pen expansion uh, repairing all the water lines, septic tank, and of course, guys, the most and the very important part is my uh, medicated. You know, uh, my brother built me uh, this one, this bucket here, guys. This is where I put uh, medicated water, like uh, for the piglets, guys, because this pens here, one. Two, three, four, four buckets will be the farrowing pen. A uh, farrowing pen, guys, uh, where the mama delivers piglets. So it's very easy to uh, con contain or prevent diseases from the piglets, guys. Because every time we only have to put uh, medicated water here, medicine here in this uh, bucket. And then the pig, the piglets will be. It's easier for the piglets to take their medicines, guys. No, no injections, because I always prefer. I do believe that uh, prevention is always better than cure, guys. So uh, before uh, before the diseases appear or illnesses we have to prevent like uh, the post weaning diarrhea guys which is very common for the piglets uh, during the weaning season like uh, we wean them from their mama most of the time the, the diarrhea is always there guys and, and some other diseases so we will put uh, medicine in their uh, buckets here in their drinking in their water drinker and then all is good guys so it's always better to prevent so ayan guys our project for this year is done there the expansion of the big pen so all in all guys we now have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve uh, big pig pens and one two three four five five pens for you know the the brooding cage of the piglets so i guess guys uh this will be the end expansion of our pig pen journey because uh this is the only numbers of pigs and size of pens that i can uh, actually uh, deal with myself alone well actually i cannot deal with the deliveries alone especially after the after giving birth so i have my brother help me during the night the night watch guys he is the night watch so i can rest at night and i can uh, resume the work during the daytime so and guys thank you lord for all the blessings thank you god for uh allowing us for giving us strength in and giving Friends for all our workers and guys that do the, the very very great job of this uh, pig pen journey also because this is this pig pen guys is entirely built by just family members my brother Chris brother Noel my nephew Serenan Jason O'Neill my brother Rodel so they are just the brain uh, of this uh, pig pen 
construction guys so we are very thankful to them and now ang tanging gagawin na lamang ng aking mga pigs guys ay magin magproduce ng magproduce ng piglets so that uh, we will be able to make profits at uh, hindi lang puro gastos guys kasi actually guys in this year profit I don't have any any left for savings guys I spent it uh, in expansion uh, septic tank these uh, buckets here guys do you think it's just it's just cheap guys to build this one actually I just use uh, uh, biscuit buckets because this is a very strong bucket guys so all all in all plus the labor guys plus the fittings the you know the valves everything the drinker and so on it cost me almost eight ten thousand pesos to build this for connection plus the labor I because I use guys the uh, this one PPR pipe because that is also strong so it's not uh, cheap guys everything needs investment but uh, it's better to in uh, spend at once other than uh, keep repairing because repair guys also cost uh, more money so yeah so thank you guys so there guys that's our pig pen I'm uh, I am at the back of the pig pen now so thank you guys maraming maraming salamat po sa aking mga supporters sa aking mga friendship sa YT na laging sumusuport at nanunod ng aking video for all people uh, from the other side of the world that always uh, supports my videos watch my videos, subscribes to my channel thank you, thank you very much guys you are my inspiration guys and keep uh, for me pushing and making another uh, great video guys and I hope you will continue to support me and stay with me in my journey in my farm journey Thank you guys. Bye guys. See you in my next video. And I love you all guys. And I wish you well, happiness and success in life. Bye guys. Thank you for watching.